Hey, Brian, how you doing? Okay, yes, this is excellent use of the grid. Thanks so much for showing the grid on, on the page. It, it, it really, I, mean, I, I had an idea there was an underlying grid there. I, it, you can definitely tell the page mechanics is very comfortable. So good job there. Um, yeah, there's a couple of areas in the grid that are, are, are not used consistently. For example, um, you know, on a couple of pages, like for here, for example, you're placing the grid, the type right where that grid intersection is. But down here, and we talked about, I talked about this when you know, as the, the headline was jumping around. Down here, it's not starting where the, the grid starts. So breaking the grid right there. And then um, I would definitely think about that. Now, you're, you're using the vertical grid perfectly, so that that's good. Um, but think about that. And I, you mentioned that when you were talking about uh, consistent placement of your headline. So I think that you're on to that. Um, the idea is to eliminate the stochastic movement of the eye. Stochastic movement is how the it's the, the way when the eye jumps around. That's called stochastic movement. You you really want to keep the eye um, as stationary as possible while while moving through, even paging through a composition. Um, the the viewer becomes uncomfortable when their eye has to jump around. So I think you understand that based on your your video and some of your response there. So okay, the three main questions I'm getting out of your video are this: uh, page headers are. Uh, page headers. Are page headers a good idea? I think yes, they are. Well, before that, this your uh, subheads are fine. Compelling argument, um, concept, design studies, and design and action. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. Um, and I think it's not a bad idea to uh, to do that. To come over here and and you know do your uh, subheads um, to just to kind of hold the subtopics together within the subhead. Now that of course presents you with an issue is that how are you going to present your subhead if you have an image in that area and you have one of two choices you can either recompose a page around the image or you can work out your typography so that it fits over the image that is going to be you know I, that's going to be something that you're going to have to work out but either one of the two will be just fine um, and yeah I do definitely think that subheads are, are, are really a nice idea. Um, watch your hierarchy, though. You don't want the subhead to be too big or the headline to be too big, you know, the, the uh, different categories. You don't want those to be too big and then, you know, just to, to suffice the size of that right there. I hope that makes sense. So just watch your hierarchy when you're doing that. Um, subheads may be kept away. You have named them, yes. Recompose the pages, the image that have subheads, yes. And, and um, yeah, yeah, so basically I think I covered everything. Yes, subheads are, are fine, named the way they are. Uh, recompose the pages using subheads. You'll have to recompose the page to accommodate the, the headline. And um, you can keep the names. Yeah, okay, I think I covered everything. All right, man, hope that helps. Thanks, let me know.